Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 10.532. This is uh, this is the second build the company is releasing to insiders. This new build includes a number of improvements over the uh, last public preview and it also includes some bug fixes and other, and other kind of uh, improvements under the hood. But mo most no noticeable is that uh, Microsoft is trying to address the issue with uh, context menu inconsistency as we've seen um, many different uh, menu styles throughout the operating system. So it's trying to tackle that issue and it's still a work in progress, it's still inconsistent, in, in, but it will soon be uh, addressed on upcoming updates. So now if we go to the desktop, I can show you right now that this is the uh, the new menu. It looks pretty similar to what you've seen before, but it now looks a little bit bigger and it's more consistent with the um, uh, other menus around the uh, uh, throughout the operating system. Now this one is white, but if you go to uh, right click on the um, on the taskbar, you will see that there is a, an improved uh, context menu that it looks that has the uh, dark uh, theme and with but it doesn't look uh, totally finished but you know like I said it's still a work in progress like also if we go to the power user uh, context menu that has changed as, uh, as well so um, those are the uh, the new changes for the context menu however like if we still go to um, the uh, start menu and we double uh, right click on it we still can see that um, the menu looks uh, similar but still still not consistent throughout the uh, with the uh, with the other menus you see the fonts are bigger and there is no room for uh, icons like we see here like we see the uh, the icons and even if we go to let's say uh, try to access the uh, the sound uh, menu you you'll see that we're still seeing a, a different kind of um, uh, menu style right there if we go to control panel we'll still have some uh, you know a different uh, style and even if we go to uh, Microsoft Edge if we try to right click we get to you know, uh, the S Cortana menu and looks totally different of, of what we've seen now on the uh, on the taskbar or on the uh, desktop uh, context menu. Even if we try to click the um, uh, the uh, the link, we'll still get a a different type of a uh, menu. Even more, if we go to the uh, the mail app, the new one, and if we go to one of the menus, it still looks uh, a lot different of what we uh, see throughout the operating system. So there's still a lot of a lot of consistency throughout the context menu, but Microsoft knows about it and is trying to address that issue, and we'll see on upcoming bills and future updates that you know that's going to change and I hope that happens uh, pretty soon too so that's uh, that's all with the uh, context menus and now we're going to see also that the uh, feedback app has been updated and this is the insider let me go and look for the uh, feedback app so now we're we're in the feedback app now and it would just uh, click any of the feedback now we see a share button right there that we can click and yes we want to share the feedback we click yes and then we'll get the share uh, functionality from uh, Windows that so we can share to different um, social media or OneNote or even through uh, mail as a link which is uh, really useful like if you need to get people to vote on on your on your feedback or you just want to share you know what's what's going on on Windows um, the company also said that uh, has been improving how the uh, dark theme uh, works on the uh, on the operating system and we can see that on the uh, on the new context menu 
but uh, pretty much everything is still uh, looks the same um, there is also one little change that is not too much noticeable but if you go to the uh, to the menu right now on the uh, on the store we can see there's a little bit change now we got more spacing and looks more like in the context menu that we're seeing right now and the uh, downloads has been renamed to downloads and updates so that's pretty much everything that's new on this bill there has been also some improvements on Microsoft Edge but those are changes happening uh, under the hood and those uh, those changes are meant to make the uh, uh, browse the browser experience uh, a little more uh, faster but that's pretty much all there is to uh, to it on 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 this build so i hope this video was informative for you and don't forget to check my website at peerinfotech.com and thank you for for viewing